my brothers and sisters in Islam, when a person falls sick and ill, this is the time to explore and discover the beauty of Allah's name, Shafi, the healer. Allahu Akbar, this is a time. And so it is important to know, what are we supposed to do when we become sick? Listen to this incredible hadith in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says that there is no calamity that afflicts the believer, whether this calamity is a wasab, meaning a permanent illness that has no cure until today, wala nasab, and any kind of fatigue or tiredness that you experience, wala saqam, and any kind of temporary sickness. Saqam could be a headache, could be a toothache, could be anything, could be a fever, wala huzn, and even sadness, any form of sadness that the believer experiences as a result of his sickness. Hatta al-hamma yuhammuhu, even the depression and the sadness that befalls a person. All of this, whenever it afflicts a believer, what's the result? And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, even if you are pricked by a thorn, anything of this sort that a believer experiences, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, except that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wipes away, expiates his sins or from his sins, Allahu Akbar. And so it is important to know, what are we supposed to do when we become sick? when we fall ill, and this is bound to happen. The first absolute thing is ad-du'a. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as in this authentic hadith, whenever he would visit a sick, or whenever a sick person would come to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would put his hand on the sick person, and he would say, Allahumma rabbal nas, adhib al وَاشْفِهِ أَنْتَ الشَّافِي لَا شِفَاءَ إِلَّا شِفَاءُكْ شِفَاءً لَا يُغَادِرُ سَقَمًا Allahu Akbar, this is a great dua. It is the best dua to make when a person is sick. Anyway, this dua begins by you saying, Allahumma رَبَّ الناس. Oh Allah, and you are the Lord of mankind. Now, as you're weak and as you're sick, look how huge these words are. You're saying, رَبَّ الناس. You're the Lord of mankind. It's like you're saying, my sickness is nothing. Oh Allah, my sickness is something easy for you to cure and for you to heal. For me, he's the Lord of everyone. This is the powerful dua. Then you say, straight away, ask what you want from Allah. Now that you acknowledge and you recognize that Allah is the Lord of mankind and he's the Lord of everything, immediately you say after it, remove my sickness, Ya Allah. Remove my illness, Ya Allah. Remove it completely. Adib to remove it, to move it. So your one side and the sickness is gone totally on another side. It dis disappears from your body altogether. That's what Adhib al means. And then, Ishfi anta shafi. Cure me. Heal me. Why? Because anta shafi. You're the one who cures. You're the one who heals. You know the word ashafi. It comes from the word shafa. The one who takes you out of the danger of this sickness and illness you're in, and he takes you all the way to the edge of safety, to the land of safety, Allahu Akbar, and health and strength and power, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Powerful name of Allah, ishfi anta shafi. And then you say after this, la shifa'a illa shifa'uk. There is no cure at all. There is no treatment except your cure, except your shifa'a.